Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Joel from Terry Chew Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. For this lesson, we will be tackling a logic question. Okay, so let's get to the question. So the question mentioned that there are 36 numbers, okay, arranged in the sequence as shown below. Okay, so they start from the top right and they go like a snake formation, okay, all the way up to 36, okay. So you realize that there are actually three long rectangles over here, okay, which you are actually have no idea what the numbers are inside or how many numbers are actually uh, inside, okay. So actually, this is a relatively easy question once you can see the logic and once you can see the technique okay so we actually need to identify certain rows first but we actually need to make them equal okay so how do we make them equal so that we will be able to get our answer very quickly okay so you'll notice that okay let's remove some extra stuff first okay so those that i'm going to remove i'm going to highlight it in red so that you can see the three distinct rows later okay so you notice that okay the top right these two is quite out of place okay so let's remove these two okay likewise for the bottom left corner the bottom left two is also quite out of place okay so let's remove that so you notice that you are actually quite close to getting three distinct rows right three equal rows all you have to do now is to actually remove this over here now and this over here okay so when you actually do that what you are left with is actually the three distinct rows which i'm going to highlight in yellow is actually this okay sorry from here to here okay and from here to here as well as this okay so you notice that now i have three equal rows Okay, so how do I approach this question now? Okay, I want to actually find the number of numbers in each row. Okay, so that will actually help me to solve what m is equals to. Okay, so actually I need to remove this, the highlighted ones in red first. Okay, so I have a total of 36 numbers. Okay, all I got to do is to minus away the 6 of the red highlighted ones. Okay, to get a total of 30. Okay, this means to say that there are 30 numbers in the 3 equal rows. Okay, so we can say that 3 equal rows is equals to 30 numbers. Okay, and from here, we can actually find out how many numbers are there in 1 equal row. Okay, all we got to do is to take 30 divided by 3 to get 10 numbers okay this means that there are actually 10 numbers in each of these yellow region okay so how do we actually solve for m okay so let's look at let's start from here now okay so now we are at 2 all we got to do is to plus 10 which is the numbers in the row and then we will end up being on this side now Okay, and then we just need to plus 1, and we plus another 10, and then we will get our M. Okay, so now we can actually solve the question right away. Okay, so what number does M represent? M is simply equals to, so we start from 2, we plus 10, okay, which is the rows. Okay, we plus 1 more, which is the red one that we removed earlier. Okay, and all we got to do now is to plus another 10, which is the numbers inside another row. Okay, and in this way, we will get a total answer of 23. Okay, so M is equals to 23, which is your final answer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. 
If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.